All right, what's going on you guys? It's Resto and here is the fire mage gameplay that some of you have requested for quite a while now um, I'm just now getting to it because I finally found a decent gameplay that I could get in and Show off my maneuvers and whatnot. I guess you could say I don't know I, It's nothing special, but it's it's good enough to upload. I'm I'm pretty satisfied with it at, at the most but um in this gameplay, you're going to see a little lag, and like like right now, you're going to see it, and a little bit of joltiness, but that's only for like the first two minutes. After that, it kind of smooths out and eases out. Um, the reason why he's doing this is, as most of you know, my PC shit, so it doesn't really um, do the best performance right away when I start recording, so it always like kind of jolts in a bit. Sometimes I'm lucky and it won't happen, and sometimes it's a little bit unfortunate and it will happen, so I don't know. I just got to cope with it and deal with it. Um, so, as much as... Someone's calling me. Hello? No, yep, you're speaking to him. Hey, Father, from Shake and Shake. Uh huh. Can you come to work? Uh. I have like no way to get there. You have no way to get here? Yeah. Where do you live? I live by the apple orchard. By the what? Our apple orchard. The apple orchard? Oh, on County Hall? Yeah. I mean, it's not so 4.30, so if you run, you're making it run. If I run... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna you can you find a ride? Uh, my uh, dad and his girlfriend just went out of uh, town for like a little get-together get time, if you know what I mean. I'm sorry. I'll be in tomorrow, though. <laughs> yeah, well, tomorrow doesn't help me today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, Alright. 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 Bye-bye. Bye. Alrighty, then. Um, okay, back to what I was saying. So, in the whole mall thing, I, I'm not much of an impulse buyer when it comes to shopping, but I, when I find something decent, I'm gonna buy it for whatever reason, because it, it depends on what it is, though, you know what I mean? But... What I'm getting at is I kind of took out of my PC savings to get this and what I got, it was worth it because I've been wanting it for years, but then again, I kind of regret it because it's like that took so much out of what I was earning up for, but then again, I can just earn it back so it's no big deal. It's just take a little bit longer than expected, but I bought a longboard and I love it. I don't know. I, I'm not much of a skater, but like I remember trying a friend's longboard a while ago and I just loved it. I loved the way it felt, but it's not the same longboard that I tried on his. Mine's a little bit, like, actually not a little bit, uh, way different than what he had. Um, the one I have is made out of bamboo, so it's, like, really flexible, so you can, like, turn and whatnot, and, um, something about, like, the wheels are, like, something seven. Like, it's, like, really, really good wheels, like, they're rubber wheels, and they're hard wheels, so it's not, like, a freestyle board where you can just go out and do all kinds of crazy shit with it. No, I'm just more of a cruiser, and... I just wanted to chill out on the board and um, ever since then like I took it out for the first time um, about a week ago and I and probably wasn't a week ago it was almost a week ago and it was about 11 something at night because all right, so this is the reason why I was doing this because in the day where I live I live in a neighborhood where like everyone's really active outside for some reason and it's really weird to me that's just weird how like the whole neighborhood is really active because usually you're in a neighborhood and everyone's inside and whatnot or they're at work but no like my neighborhood's all activities yay and i'm just like get away i don't want to deal with that well i didn't want to like embarrass myself in case like i fell or like i looked like a retard trying to like learn how to ride these things and i think that's why i waited it's like 11 at night where like the streets were dead and everything was silent and you can literally just hear everything that was going on in the world without like any cars or you know what i mean like just that that silent sound at night and i don't know if any of you are the same as me but i love that like that vibe or that environment i guess you can say well i waited till then i took it out that way nobody can see me if i fell or anything and thank god i did because i ended up like almost busting my shit the first time i got onto it like the first five minutes, like I wanted to go on the sidewalk and I was got the board down, I set it down and I went to go ahead and cruise away and I ended up doing something like I ended up like losing my balance and like knowing how a bamboo board works, it's like really flexible, like I said before. So I ended up going like too far to the right and like the board hit the ground like somehow. I don't know because I think the sidewalk was like 
it was it wasn't a leveled sidewalk so like some of it was like a little bit higher than the other and i ended up hitting that high end and the board skid on it and ended up like doing a big i don't know what i don't even know how to explain this but nonetheless i flew off the board almost and like busted my face on the concrete i caught myself though and like i looked around and made sure nobody was looking and thank god nobody was because like i would have been like Super embarrassed, I don't know. But I ended up taking my board back up and I took it to the streets this time. I went up and I, I went up a level, you know, because there's more room, but there's also more in the open and you're not covered by trees and whatnot. So I went on the street and surprisingly it was so much easier. And I don't know why I didn't do this before. Um, the moment I got onto it, like I started cruising like really, really, really easily. And the only issue that I have as of right now is my balance and like not like pushing it and moving it's more balance as you know when you're moving and then you go to like push to like make yourself go faster it's right after you get done pushing it's just like getting that balance in you know what I mean like I have no issue staying on it and like you know doing my thing but it's the part where you push to go faster that's the bit where i kind of have an issue with it and like i kind of go off balance a little bit i think it's the way i do things i don't know but i don't know i need to work on it so that's one thing to uh get more practice in and i have been doing it like almost daily to the point where i'm getting a little bit better at it and i kind of want to do vlogs on it i don't know why but like that's what i want to do and speaking of vlogs from now on, when I'm doing some sort of update video, instead of uploading a gameplay or whatever, I'll just do a vlog that way. Because, like, when I do an update video, it's mainly just to tell you guys, yo, this is what's going on, this is what's happening, and this is why it's happening. And it's really nothing about the game whatsoever, or it's really nothing invested, because it's a short video, it's just an update. So, I felt as if a vlog would be a little bit more easier, that way you guys can kind of get a better connection with me I guess you can say because um, I kind of want that connection with you guys rather than me just uploading and being a voice behind the screen you know what I mean I kind of want to have a bond with you guys like like one little family I guess you could say those youtubers say or not so I don't know something like that as you guys request things I kind of like go on the tunes and practice them that way I'm not utterly shit when I first get onto it and like try to make a gameplay out of it um, so the next gameplay that's gonna be up after this uh, fire mage gameplay that you guys are currently watching is a monk gameplay but it's not just any other monk it's going to be a 20 monk I have not uploaded any type of veteran slash free-to-play gameplay since like the last month of WAD and it's been what two months now since I've done that maybe maybe a little bit shorter but nonetheless it's been at least a month tops like it's been a while and this channel used to be completely about free-to-play veterans and 20 twink gameplay in general and I just kind of branched off from it and as I continue to play it I just I'm thankful that I did because the bracket isn't really that great anymore to be honest and it's just it's not enjoyable it's not something like 19s or 39s or 60s or 70s it's just it's not it's not the same it doesn't have that vibe that makes you want to keep playing it more um it is fun yes but it's just it's the community that's within the bracket you know what i mean that's that's kind of what kills it and i know 19s and 39s are like either above or below in between of the 20 bracket and i understand that they're like they're kind of the they're really close levels and but they have different communities they don't have the same people within the bracket 20 through 29 has its own set of people and the way those people are they're usually i hate to like be really i don't know the word for this but like the it's a bunch of kids that's just basically i want to say like i know that's like a lot of things people say like everyone calls everyone a kid but like honestly i honest to god feel that whole bracket is filled with a bunch of kids. It, I'm, not, I'm even joking. Like it, the average age has to be 15 to 17 years old, at least within within that age bracket. And they're all fucking immature as hell, and it's 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 annoying. So I kind of like branch myself away from it. Um, I get away from the aids, and I kind of focus on other brackets that have a better community. That's kind of why I enjoy 70s. That's why I enjoy 60s. 
um, 19s and 39s. I know a lot of people are going to be like, 19s, you're going to say 19s is a mature community. I know 19s can be AIDS, but if you really think about it, it's so much better than uh, 20 through 29. So much better. I know 19s has some pretty idiotic people, but in the end, it's still fun. And in the end, it's very nostalgic and it's the way to go for twinking if you really want to get into it for the first time that is a bracket that i recommend getting into first before you try going into any other ones and if you enjoy 19s and you want to branch out to other brackets then i recommend trying out 60s or 70s mainly 70s i really 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 really, really recommend joining 70s um those watching it and you do want to make a 70 or you do have a 70 um for those making them, go to Bleeding Hollow. Um, I am a co-GM for a guild called Creamy Twinkies, and it's on the Horde side. I will eventually be making a Alliance guild on Bleeding Hollow for 70s. I just recently got a 70 up, and he's pretty much about almost halfway geared. So, like the moment he gets fully geared, um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a guild and kind of get gems in there. I'm gonna start funding everybody. Um, on Horde, we do fund, yes, so if you have no way of getting enchants or gems, etc., don't worry, that guild's got you. Um, you don't really need to worry about gems as a 70 in terms of like funding because you basically get all of your gems in the process of gearing. So usually what we do, or well, what I do, um, the main GM kind of isn't playing the game at the moment because he's kind of invested in college so that's kind of his thing that's kind of the reason why he gave me co-gm that way i can kind of take over and manage the guild a bit um the way i kind of do gems i kind of wait till that person is fully geared before i even bother giving them anything because when you're doing your raids you mainly get all of your gems and you pretty much get all the gold that you need to buy all of your enchants any other mats that you need for gear or Basically your gems. Your gems you don't even need to buy nor get funded with. Like you will, in fact, like this is 100% guaranteed, you will get your gems in the process of gearing. Unless, this is the this is very, very, very uncommon. Um, unless you're like my warlock who got geared within two weeks, which is two runs, and got everything within that time period, then, you know, I can understand you need to be funded. But other than that, like everybody doesn't have that kind of RNG and you will take a while to get your gear. So... I think Sunwell and Black Temple are the two raids that um, you're going to be getting most of your gear from, depending on your class. It depends on the class and the spec that you're gearing for of what raids you're going to be having to farm. Um, the main raids that everybody farms is Sunwell, Black Temple, Circle Shrine Caverns, and like I said, depending on the class and spec, um, Mount Hyjal as well. But you don't need the full run on Mount Hyjal, it's basically just the second boss that drops your gear. But, like I said, it all depends on what you're doing. Um, most, most, not all, um, actually, yeah, most classes will be running Sunwell for most of their gear. So, that's kind of the breakdown. Um, I just realized this video is going to end, so I have to upload Arita's now. Good to kind of extend this. Gosh, yeah, I just realized, like, I expect things to be so short when I talk, and then I end up rambling, and then... I just get to a whole new section of topics and I just keep going on and on. I don't know, it's good though, it's good, it's good, it's good. I'm not complaining, it's good. But uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get some arenas in here. But other than that, um, the video does seem to be coming to an end, so I'm gonna go ahead and just close this out before I start talking for hours on end. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to drop a subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Uh, dream to getting 2K now. We're getting there slowly, but surely we'll get there. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been wrestling, guys. I'll see you guys next time. We got to turn it on.
Oh, <laughs> 